Songs of love, passion, entertainment, relationships. you guys real quick this primer is such a gem when you're in a really broken situation and the only thing that can pull you out of it is god i like to flicky the shame goddess and be in a space to receive it i feel like sometimes we pray for stuff and we're not open Welcome to my YouTube channel once again and welcome to another installment of Chit Chat with Chanke. With a twist today we're doing a get rid of me. That's why on my desk right here you see all my makeup. Happy, happy, happy new year. This um, get rid of me is actually in time because I just updated a lot of things on in my makeup um, bag. Except for my foundation. That one we're struggling with a little bit but everything else is pretty much new. I knew I wanted to do a chit chat to sort of start off the year but I didn't know what to do the video on but thankfully I got tagged in a new YouTube tag called New Year Same God so there's a few questions here oh, let me put my phone on do not disturb because I've got 10 questions that I'm going to go through as I do my makeup um, my, my eyebrows usually take me the longest to do so but I've got a mirror in front of me as well that I'm going to be using so if I'm looking down there but um First question, describe some, do you know what, let me do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are something that I get complimented on a lot. Um, so hopefully you guys can see how I do it on here. I have a few other like get ready with me's but I feel like this is probably going to be the one of like the best quality so you guys can really see how I get my eyebrows on week. My brother's coming downstairs so if he opens the door don't be scared. Yeah, come in. I'm just coming on off. Okay, see you. Bye. So before I go on any further, I'm going to do my primer. Let me just plug you guys real quick. If you are someone that has oily skin, this primer is such a gem especially if i need my makeup to last all day maybe i have to film during the day and then i have an event in the evening my makeup is able to last in all my problem areas i've noticed my nose behind my nose underneath my eyes tends to crack a little bit i had a lot of different primers but this one it's the Pond something something oil free lasting oil control. I put the name and where I got mine from. I got mine from Amazon, but um, it's twenty two pounds. It's quite pricey for a primer, but trust me, I feel like it lasts. It's the best twenty two pounds on makeup that I've spent. I'm gonna do one eyebrow on camera so you guys can kind of see how I do. There's no real technique. Um, I'm using a Lego. Pro concealer in warm honey. I normally use fawn underneath my eyebrows. You don't score it. This was the next best thing to fawn. Oh, it's very thick as well. I'm very wary about getting it from those shops sometimes because they're normally quite watery. Do I have to do the okay? So I normally start with my arch. Some people start from here. If that works for you, fine, but I find it easier to get the shape I want, especially at the ends, when I start with my arch and then I draw, it, I draw the line down. I'm gonna finish this off, do my other brow, and then come back, because I'm gonna waste time. Let's start with this tag now. Describe something that God did that really shocked you this year. So I'm guessing this is like last year, so 2017 kind of reflection. I feel like for me, there's a bunch of things. I think getting a first class was one of my biggest things last year. Because it's not like shocked, like, oh my God, God I never knew you were going to do that. Because I do trust in God. And it's what I prayed for. And I trust that he answers prayers. 
but it was shocking because there was a particular exam i kind of explained this in my university testimony there was one exam in particular that a bunch of us could not finish if anyone from my university course is watching this video you can vouch for me in the comment section down below that people came out of that exam crying i didn't cry because i'm the kind of person that believes yeah once i've put in work once i've studied and done everything whatever the result is or the outcome as long as i know i've put in my 110 percent and i've prayed and i've left it to god whatever the result is i know that's how it was meant to be if that makes sense yeah i was upset because obviously when you study and then the exam it's just crazily hard like there were just too many questions for the time that was allocated and i'm a fast writer so when i was struggling i was like okay wait and i saw my peers struggling as well i came out of the exam a bit worried but then i saw that this was one of those exams that genuinely like no one could finish yeah it was just a madness and i just left it to god and somehow somehow i still managed to get first i think on that paper as well so i don't know what they did i don't know whether because there were like petitions and stuff but sometimes you no, know, they ignore the petitions so i was like okay god the holy spirit just ministered to me like yeah it's in control like god will make a way where there seems to be no way and also i did a dissertation i hate doing coursework it's not my strongest point i prefer exams and actually i got i got a, a two two in my dissertation i didn't realize until i started to analyze all my results um but to be honest i knew my supervisor had it in for me um one or two arguments you know being a strong woman and that i kind of had a feeling so i was just prayed that my exams were going to pull my grade up so you can imagine so i guess my grades were really really high in my exams for second and third year which ended up earning me a first so that was really nice um what else really shocked me last year uh gaining subscribers shocked me last year like i prayed for it again one of them things like when you pray and god actually does it it's like okay god name a repeated blessing last year that you don't normally acknowledge but you're grateful for i think for me that's pretty simple provision there were so many times that i was just wondering like how am i gonna do it um the time in my university journey actually where i had to give a, a huge chunk of my student loan out and i was thinking how am i gonna do uni um but i still gave it out in faith and God provided a hosting gig, a repeated hosting gig for four or five months where I was earning the money that basically I gave out. <laughs> so provision was definitely a huge repeated blessing and it always came just in time. Always came just in time and it was just that learning to practice peace even when things seem so chaotic. I feel like God really tests us with that. It's like, okay, this is going on, but how will you react kind of thing. Even buying my phone as well, my holidays. Name one thing I did last year that I've never done before. What did you do, Mo? Because I'm trying to cut my clothes according to my size this year, I'm using a new setting spray. I normally use the MAC, I feel like I didn't have to pull it that hard. The MAC Fix Plus spray, but again, a makeup artist used this one on me, Body Shop. Um, the vitamin C energizing face mist 12 pound compared to 21. Okay, it smells bomb. Mm. So, what did I do last year that I'd never done before? I'd never been to New York. Is that a good one? So, I went to the Big Apple. That was really nice. Who knows? Maybe I'll go skiing this year or something. Name something that you didn't pray for that happened anyway. I don't know if I prayed for it, but God kind of told me it was coming. When my cousins came into my life and asked me if I wanted a site, a website for my brand, and I said, you know what, yes, because I wasn't actually thinking of it. Just before my rebrand, I knew what I wanted to do in terms of like YouTube, but I didn't think I wanted to get a site. So I didn't really necessarily pray for that, but I anticipated in my spirit that it was going to come, if that makes sense, because God already showed me the dream and that added that extra like quality to my rebrand this is another great product pricey but fantastic the laura mercier what they call it loose setting powder the bomb the bomb diggity in terms of if you want to be a bad b when it comes to highlight and contour forget that night man time to upgrade man i like to make sense but in fact that reminds me i want to do a chit chat get ready with me in yoruba so hopefully maybe this month or next month i'll film that for you guys i like to flicky shame baddest 
Come on. I look like a masquerade right now, but the end result. Date how God changed a broken situation or season into something beautiful. For me, that was definitely my anxiety experiencing a lot of like mental health issues in second year of university. I think everything I'm kind of relating to university because obviously I just finished. So that was my life for the last three years. It definitely broke me. I was very lonely. I was very sad. I was searching, I was searching and searching and searching for what I didn't know I was searching for, but I realized I was searching for God and it helped me and it enabled me to kickstart a strong relationship with God. When you're in a really broken situation and the only thing that can pull you out of it is God, you'll be forever not indebted but grateful and you'll remember it even more. That's why sometimes when we sacrifice for things and we save up for things, it means so much more when we have them after when it's just given to us on a platter of gold. I was so broken and the year after that, that's when I managed to find my peace, seek um, for wholeness in Christ. That's why whenever I want to describe God, I always say my God is a God of divine turnaround because you won't know how, you won't know when he will just turn the situation around and you'll look back and deep it like wow god you definitely did that Day one practical where you grew as an individual this year spiritual practical mental i definitely learned last year how to manage my anger a little bit better i'm not the kind of person that just gets angry over little it's <laughs> over little things yeah but if something is building up and i don't talk i don't communicate and you do something very simple oh my god it's like a volcano erupting and you will not even know like will it be the same is it the same more the same lovely girl so as nice as i was that's how terrible it was when i got angry so yeah god definitely broke me down with that one because as you guys saw from a video i posted last year i played him into my life so why did he leave part of why he left was my anger so god would use that one to tame me okay describe a time when you experience grace this year mm, okay grace for that one i would definitely say celibacy journey hasn't been easy um every time i would kind of fall i had to try and understand first of all that god still loves me and god forgives me regardless of what i do wrong i feel like even when i saw that i graduated with the first class i didn't expect it because i was expecting god to punish me for all my sins in regards to like celibacy so i've definitely felt like an outpouring of grace in those moments that god still stayed with me god still comforted me he was still my father regardless of how much i felt like i was sinning and was falling short of his glory um let me do my eyeshadow my little sister got me this palette <laughs> for christmas this is my first big girl palette i think i'm not really into eyeshadow like that so this is the anastasia 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 modern renaissance renaissance Describe a valuable life lesson that you learnt this year. A valuable life lesson. The help you need is always around the corner. If you would just be patient and trust God wholeheartedly. And be in a space to receive it. I feel like sometimes we pray for stuff and we're not open. We're not open enough to receive it. We might be holding on to like past tension. There's just no space for that thing to come in. Describe one thing you're looking forward to in the new year, spiritually, practically, mentally. <sighs> Girls and guys, trust me, I am looking forward to being a bad bee again. So I'm going to do a video at some point as well, another chit chat video. I'm going to put my fat story, how I gained weight, how I lost weight, how I gained it all back again and then some. I'm definitely looking forward to getting my body back, like on a serious note, or do I say a bad bee, whatever. University, life, and many things happened and I just couldn't maintain a good weight. Very out of shape at the moment. I mean it's coming back slowly because I've been trying to like get it under control. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting my body back. I'm looking forward to getting closer to God and getting to a good space mentally. I really want to master emotional intelligence this year. So this is me done. My feet are so dry. If you guys could see my feet right now. Somebody's woman crush Wednesday. And that is me done. Okay, so now I have to tag other youtubers it says tag three but i've decided i'm going to tag four so two guys and two girls so the first girl i'm going to tag is nissy t so girl make sure you get on this tag second girl i'm tagging is kike aj guys that i'm tagging i'm tagging man like mike and i'm tagging emmanuel 
aka faith talks so you guys get on that trend thank you so much to abigail a for tagging me in this make sure you guys check her channel subscribe and all that good stuff thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it make sure you like this video if you liked it share it with your friends comment down below the things i spoke about and subscribe to my channel for more until next time guys peace and love peace and chunks <laughs>